Uh, but it shouldn't be too fast, right? So keeping a really close eye. Putting their weight is very, very important. So any guesses? I think I, I mentioned it earlier. Any guesses as to how much you guys think he weighs? 9,000. 9,300. All right, so we have a couple of guesses, and the guesses are all ranging from 3,000 to uh, 15,000. 9,000. Uh, 9,000. Amy, what did you land on today? 9,600. Wait, do it again. <laughs> so, 9,640 pounds. So you lift them up out of the water, so the bottom moves. And this like is where a lot of the like uh, exams it's and it's procedures happen. All right, so because of that, we want this pool to be really fun to hang out in because we don't want the only time that the whales go in there to be when the vet is here or maybe if they're not feeling well. So for the care of these animals, making this a very normal part of their routine is really important. So we want to make sure that they see that pool a lot, and we want that to pretty much be the party pool, right? So when they go in there, we want it to be fun so that they will do it again. And that's important when we're trying to take care of their health, that we can uh, chance that when we ask them to go in, that chances are that they will come in. So even something like this, where two are left, how do you get, right? We're making a social change, and that's a choice that these whales have. They do not have to lose each other, and that choice is very important. But in the event that we really needed to get a blood, or we really needed to get a sonogram, or to do an exam, it would be very important that we could have that happen. So we want to practice that all the time so it becomes a normal part of their day. And that allows us, again, to take really great care of them. I do think that there's a question over here. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I'm so happy to answer that question. They're asking about the dorsal fins that are turned over, right? And we didn't really see that on the females. So, the coral's dorsal fin does not have any bones and it doesn't have any muscle. It's not a part of the skeletal structure. It's not a part of the body that doesn't have any control over. Um, it's made of a really dense, fibrous, connective tissue, which is a lot of words, but the best way I could describe it is that it's similar to cartilage. So you guys feel your ears, right? Your ears have shape, right? They, they have shape and stand the water that's going to help keep it nice and straight because they're not spending as much time at the surface. So just like when you get in the water, you don't feel like you weigh as much, right? So that's water is helping support the dorsal fin. In New Zealand, the population of killer whales there, they specialize in hunting stingray, which is really cool. They'll actually hunt upside down um, so that when they flip over, the stingray goes catatonic because when you turn over sharks and stingrays, they can't move anymore. So they've figured out how to hunt for them so that they don't get stung, um, which is really, really neat. But stingray tend to hang out in shallow water. So they have found that 23% of the population that live there have collapsed dorsal fins. And again, those are killer whales that are spending more time in shallow water. Killer whales here, right? That's where we are, it's where the food is, it's where the fun is. So these guys, they do spend quite a bit of time at the surface as well. Now the dorsal fin, the purpose, there's two, two purposes that they do about.